knowledge and control and responsibility all go hand in glove. These things are all together. In order to know about something, you must have some control over it, some slight control to know about. In order to have control over something, you must have some responsibility for it. In order to be responsible for it, you must know something about it. And we sort of have a brand new triangle composed of knowledge, control, and responsibility as three corners. Now we're up into the postulate zone. We're not, not talking very much about mechanics, flows, masses, you know, that sort of thing. We're talking about almost pure think. These are the considerations people have, and oddly enough, these considerations are rather easy to change. Now, the only thing that can hurt anybody is the area where his control has relapsed. This we see very obviously that an automobile will hurt you if you lose control of it. This is one of those obvious facts, and you could dust it off that way. Actually, the fact is a little deeper than this. How did you lose control of the automobile? That's what's been unknown. Well, you lost control of the automobile, and this is the brand new datum, by overt acts and withholds on the subject of automobiles. At this minute, you, you, you know some zone of life that uh, apparently has the power to injure you. Let's just think about it for a minute. Do you, do you know of such a zone? Well, all right, the exact mechanic is that you committed overt acts against the terminals representing that zone that you now don't know about. You've buried them. All you see is the menace. But the overt acts are there. On a reciprocal, that area can now do something harmful to you. And horribly enough, it becomes more harmful the less responsibility you take for it. You really want to get caved in, just back off totally from an area. You want to know why the world could be destroyed? Because nobody's taking any responsibility for it. You know why they don't take any responsibility for it? They got too many overt acts against it. It and other worlds. <coughs> so the world could be destroyed. You want to prevent the world from being destroyed? Take responsibility for it. You want to know why we have not influenced further than we have? You want to know how we could influence further than we do? Well, the answer is there with that triangle of knowledge, control, and responsibility. All we have to do to straighten it out is get off our overts against any area we wish to control, and we'll control it again. It's very simple. So idiotically simple that only a very honest man with a very honest view could grasp the situation, which is probably our saving grace, you see. It's the awfulest trigger mechanism you ever saw. It's as though we've got it totally set up so that if we turn bad, we can't influence anything very much. It's our sideways proof of why man is basically good. And when a man finds out he's harmful to various zones of influence, he withdraws from them. If he finds that he can commit overt acts against areas that he really doesn't want to commit, he'll withdraw. He has to withdraw from those zones, that's all. He's protecting them against himself, from himself, you see. He's protecting others and the other dynamics from his own influence. Well, now, the second that he gets off his overts, 
he can reestablish his control and reassert his responsibility for those areas which he has previously de deserted. 